help me remember how to smile Make it somehow I'll see worthwhile How on earth did I get so jaded? Life's mystery seems so faded I can go where no one else can go I know what no one else knows Here I am just a drowning in the rain Today on Exploring with Ash and Jake, we're going to be talking about a schizophrenic man who is 52 years old that cut off his entire penis and flushed it down the toilet after voices in his head warned him he would face dire consequences if he did not. Now, for those of you who don't know, schizophrenia is a mental illness where there's a chemical imbalance in your brain and it makes you see and hear things that are not there and become very paranoid. Sometimes you'll think voices um, in the TV, like the static, are communicating with you, or you'll see men in black suits with ties, um, sort of like the men in black, um, and you just sort of have all these false realities and delusions of things that are not there because you're chemically imbalanced. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that. A schizophrenic man chopped off his penis with a kitchen knife and then flushed it down the toilet. Sharing gory details of this incident in a medical journal, surgeons in India are told how the unidentified 52-year-old was left with a stump where his mm, <clears throat> junk should be. The man who had stopped taking his medication didn't turn up to the hospital until 16 hours after amputating himself. A schizophrenic man chopped off his penis with a kitchen knife and flushed it down the toilet. Surgeons in India told how the unidentified 52-year-old was left with a stump. The man who stopped taking his medication didn't turn up until 16 hours after amputating himself. Now, I want to emphasize that because that is a really big deal. Like, if you were to cut, like, a cr critical um, or crucial artery that you need, you can bleed out. So, waiting such a time period to turn up at the hospital can be catastrophic. The unidentified 52-year-old man from Pune, Western India, has been left with a stump after a psychological episode. Doctors treated him and said he purposely waited the 16 hours after his penis was detached to attend the hospital. So if you wait that long and your body per hasn't been on ice or anything like that to preserve it um, and it's mangled or deteriorated, unfortunately, they can't reattach it. And because, well, this man had an episode, a manic episode, they weren't able to reattach his private parts. Oftentimes, patients who carry out such an act normally suffer from psychiatric disorders, hallucinations, or drug abuse. Doctors are able to reattach the private parts if they have been kept clean, not contaminated, or mangled. People who have successful reattachment surgery are able to go to the bathroom, have erections, and do normal things. Um, not sure what was the case for this man because it doesn't really give us an update, but wow, if you made it to the end, what an incredible story. <laughs> Don't chop off your penis. You might need it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on another episode of Exploring with Ash and Jake. Have a great day. Stay weird and keep exploring.